Evening folks, John Pettypaw. I'm doing an impromptu video and it's now 11.59 p.m. on Sunday night, the 24th day of October 2021. I was in Cape Breton today. Beautiful Cape Breton. In other words, I was in God's country. And the uh, mother of a gentleman that recently died gave me a beautiful card on her late son. He was a great guy, and she's been a wonderful mother to this gentleman all his life. And I'm going to read it to you. It's very touching. I'm reading it before I go to bed. I wanted to share it with you. For God on the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go wrong, he'll make them right. And the God of good news is still God in the bad times. The God of the day is still God of the night. Is still God in the night. In the night, excuse me. Is still God the God of the day is still God in the night. For the God on the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go wrong He'll make them right. And the God of good times is still God in bad times. The God of today is still God in the night. The God of the day is still God in the night. And it's a very strong lady, and it's fate. I did a I did a video recently on a couple's 60th anniversary, Gertie and Bobby Pettipa, no relation to me, but wonderful people. And I'm lucky to have the same name as theirs. Just a lot of bulls out there that their kids come up to the name of Pettipa. Anyway, they take, and uh, I mentioned Gertie's mother, Margaret's mother, Gertie's grandmother, De Coast in Frankville, Anakinish County, and the tremendous fate that lady had. And all throughout Cape Breton today, the wonderful people you meet, just good people everywhere. But you go to Cape Breton, beautiful Cape Breton. If there's a finer place with finer people, I have yet to meet them. And I think back of a funeral in West Bay Road some years ago. West Bay, actually. It was West Bay, not West Bay Road. West Bay. It was a Protestant church. And the gentleman who died of cancer, and his widow lived on some years, and she went on in heaven. And it was, a, it was probably the saddest funeral I've ever attended. It's probably the saddest funeral I've ever attended. And if people, there was heart, there were a childless couple, but wonderful people, and there was heartfelt tears, sincere tears. They played uh, how great they are. The body came in, and the minister started to speak. They knew more hymns in the Protestant church, the Catholic church, but they're wonderful people, great faith and boat religions. And uh, anyway, the minister got up to her homily, and she started and, and gave a count of the lady's life. And said, I don't know. She paused, and she leaned in the pulpit and said, I don't know whether I should bring this in here today or not. And it was an afternoon funeral. I think it was a Saturday. And uh, some years ago, it was a summer Saturday afternoon, it was packed and the doors were open. And said, uh, who are those people? And the guy should explain to you. Back up, I'm getting ahead of my, I'm getting ahead of my story here. Uh, who are those people? Well, those people are like you. They're going on to glory. They've helped people and done their best all their life. And that crew, well, they had their fun and hurt. And they, they weren't too helpful to people. And they, a little bit selfish maybe. And they're going to that hot place. Oh, and he said, what's that crew over there? There's one, a third crew. So there's a people going on to glory. They newly arrived in heaven. And Archangel Gabriel was giving somebody to tour around because St. Peter was busy at the admissions desk that day. It was a big, when I had a, the weekend rush was on, I guess, to get into heaven. And they take, and uh, the other crew was going to that hot place. And finally, there was the third crew, and, a little bit more rambunctious, playing the accordion and the fiddle, and, but really nice people. You could tell they're good people. Who are they? That's her crew sitting on their valises. And Archangel Gabriel looked at the new entrant in the heavens and says, Ah, oh, them. 
they're Cape Bretoners. They want to go back home. So I went to Cape Breton early this afternoon, and I stayed till early evening. And I, I, I love the mainland too, but I don't know why I crossed the causeway back to, back to the mainland. You, you are truly wonderful people. And so with that, I'm going to go and it's a tribute to the deceased gentleman, and he was a gentleman. The God, for the God on the mountain is still God in the valley, and I conclude the, at the end, the God of the day is still God in the night. The God of the day is still God in the night. With that, it's now early morning. It's about five minutes past 12, and I'm going to wrap this up, and this video will be uploaded later today. Thank you, and please share this video far and wide. And We know there's God, and when you see fate, you see fate. I was at ladies' living room late this afternoon around supper hour, and the fate of this lady and her, indeed her family. Okay, just great people. So I gotta go and uh, thank you. All the best. God bless. Good night. Good morning. Bye for now.